Recently, the Attorney General of India articulated that the 10% quota for economically weaker section of society does not erode the right of the other scheduled castes, castes the scheduled tribes, or other backward caste classes. Means the Attorney General of India had added something in the uh, EWS quota that this quota of 10% is not going to uh, get or erode any right of other reservation of uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes or other backward classes. And uh, what are the government's views on this UWS? So the it does not harm quota of other classes. The government is saying that the UWS quota was given independently of the already existing 50% reservation granted for the backward classes that is scheduled communities and the OBCs. The Attorney General rejected arguments by petitioner, petitioners that the exclusion of backward classes from the EWS quota amounted to discrimination as they have been loaded with benefits by way of affirmative actions. For example, the member of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe communi communities have been given several benefits under the constitution including articles, uh, uh, article 16 clause 4a special provision for promotion article 2243d uh, reservation in panchayat and municipality seats and article 330 reservation in the lok sabha and article 332 uh, reservation in state legislative assemblies some other thing is necessary to uplift the weaker section the reservation for the backward classes and now the ews quota should be considered by the court as one single approach of the state intended for the upliftment of the weaker section of the society whoever is uh, economically weak in the society should get this benefit and this is basically the thing and uh, Altogether, 18.2% of the total population in general category belong to EWS and uh, it means the whoever, whoever is in general category uh, uh, and on, on them uh, there is 18.2% of the people of, uh, from general category are basically belong to e economically weaker section and refer to the multi-dimensional poverty index used by the Niti Aayog which would be about 350 million 3.5 crore of the population so 3.5 crore of the population are basically weaker section in general general category confer the constitution the reservation for OB, obc scs and sts fall under different uh, silos uh, other than the ews quota and it does not violate the basic structure of the constitution so there are some examples as per the written submissions submitted by the government referred to how the how to how the top court had stood by the validity of the right of children to free and compulsory education act of 2019 the court had held that the 2019 act seeks to remove all barriers including financial and psychological barriers which a child belonging to the weaker section and disadvantaged group has to face while seeking admission and therefore upheld it under article 21 of the constitutions there are some opponents views also regarding this like the amendment amendments run contrary to the constitutional scheme where no segment of uh, available seats posts can be reserved only on the basis of economic criteria the amendments also run contrary to the judgment pronounced in the indra sahai versus union of india 1992 case that a back backward class cannot be determined only and exclusively with reference to economic criteria the amendments alter the 50 percent quota limit set uh, up in indra sahai versus union of india 1992 case which according to the petitioners is a part basic structure of the constitution so what is exactly a economically weaker section? So about the EWS, the 10% EWS quota was introduced under the 103rd and means 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act with the with this Amendment Act in 2019 by amending Article 15 and 16. It inserted, so this uh, amendment inserted that Article 15, Clause 6 and Article 16, Clause 6 uh, through this amendment there is two uh, clauses clauses has been uh, added in this article at uh, 15 clause 6 and 16 clause 6 
and it is for economic reservation in jobs and admissions in educational institutes for economically weaker sections it was enacted to promote the welfare of the poor not covered by the 50 percent reservation policy for scheduled castes scheduled tribes and socially and educationally backward classes it enabled both the center and the states to provide reservation to the ew society its significance is <coughs> addresses inequality means it will reduce inequality the 10 percent quota is progressive and could address the issues of educational and econ income inequality in india and since the economically weaker section of the citizens have remained excluded from attending higher educational institutions and public employment due to their financial in incapacity so whoever whoever have uh, whoever have economically economic problem uh, will be benefited from this <coughs> Recognition, recognition of the economic backward there are many people or classes other than backward classes who are living under hunger and poverty stricken conditions the proposed reservation through a constitutional amendment would give the constitution recognition to the poor from the upper castes so there are there uh, there are a lot of people in upper castes also who have many economic problems so this can be uh, very useful for them to get uh, profit uh, get benefited from this amendment there is a reduction of the caste based discrimination moreover it will gradually remove the stigma associated with the reservation because the reservation has historically been related to caste and most often the upper caste looks down upon those who come through the reservation so it's a very important line that it uh, reduce it uh, reduce the caste based discrimination because it has been seen or witnessed in uh, past that whoever is getting uh, reservation it seems to be that he is he, he will he, he basically belongs to lower castes so when upper caste will also get uh, this type of uh, benefit it will reduce caste based discrimination and there's some important concerns for this like unavailability of data the union or the state government have no such data to prove that upper caste in the upper upper caste individuals who have less than rs uh, 8 lakh annual income are not adequately represented in government jobs and higher educational institutions there is a strong possibility possibility that they are actually over represented in these places and arbitrary criteria like the criteria used by government to decide the eligibility for the reservation is vague and is not based on any data or study even the SCs questions the government whether they have checked the gdp per capita for every state while deciding the monetary limit for giving the ews reservation so statics is so that the per capita income in states differs widely goa in the state having the highest per capita income of the almost uh, 4 lakhs whereas bihar is at the bottom with as 40,000 per annum so there are different different type of things <clears throat> in this but the thing is that recently economy um, attorney general of india has articulated something in this uh, ews quota sections and this is what i have dealt with thank you